group of formerly incarcerated artists are sharing their stories and their experiences through art. Their work is being featured in a new ex exhibit at the Tilt Institute in Kensington that opens today. And that's where we find our Waukesha Bailey, along with some of the artists who are taking part in the exhibit. Well, the name of that exhibit is Wherever There Is Light. And joining us this morning to get an up-close look at a lot of these powerful images are the artists themselves. We're going to start with Jose Diaz. Jose, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. So when we look at your artwork, can you kind of describe what we're looking at? Well, uh, we're looking at layers, the layers of these individuals, and also exploring ideas of freedom and what it means to be free in our perceptions of selves. Oh, I love that. And when you do a piece or make a piece, what do you want people to take away from us? I want them to take away that we are more than what you see. Mm -hmm. And life is deeper than that. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, Jose's artwork is amongst other artists as well. So we're going to pop on over here to the other side in this gallery. And here we have Akil Robertson. So Akil, you're the man of photography right now. When we look at this space and we're looking at the photographs, what do you want people to see? So all of these works are effigies standing in for my anxiety in and around the parole system. I really want folks to take home that you are surrounded by folks who are subject to the criminal justice system in ways that you are not. And if you can remember and have empathy for them, then that empathy extends to the entire community and we all become a better body politic um, through empathy and just understanding one another. That is such a powerful message. Now, the one thing that we do love about Akil's uh, story is that he actually got his start with Don Ike Jones, who is also a photographer. And if it weren't for this man putting a camera in Akil's hands, he would not be at this exhibit today. So, Don, when we're looking at your portraits, we think of a camera. What does that mean to you? The camera, it means freedom, man. It means being able to, being able to save a piece of the history, you know, or the moments in your life. You know, as long as, as long after we're gone, these images will still be here. Yeah. And for people who are going to come down and hear your stories, what do you want them to know that are maybe the misconceptions about individuals who are incarcerated that are also coming home? You know, when I look at the photos I took is of Terrell Carter right here with a life sentence, mm -hmm. being told he's never getting out again. Now this is Terrell working for Penn, doing hands of violence work in the city, saving mm -hmm. lives. This is of uh, uh, Randy giving 50 years, wow. home saving lives. Mr. Von Bethea went to jail at 15 home, saving lives. Mm -hmm. You know, so I want people to know that we have our different qualities. We shouldn't be judged by our Bruce, our Bruce Act. We should be given a second chance. Thank you so much for being vulnerable and for everyone here being vulnerable. But you know what? In order for you to really get the true scope and perspective of the work that we're seeing here, you need to come on down to the Tilt Institute. And of course, we'll have all that information on our website at cbsphiladelphia.com. With Keisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia.